everyone, we are going to give you a tour around the UI of the SGS games and explain a few features, in particular the uh, region and unit inspector. In the UI you have on the top the uh, different access to the menu, you have a side-by-side, -side, the flag of the side and the different nation with their uh, income, victory points, replacements, cards, uh, number of units, etc. A summary of the victory points here. You have here the phase in application now and you have the list of phase here of the game. Then uh, what we call the tension index, which is a, a level of uh, Chinese involvement in the country here. It's at the maximum here. And here a list of uh, events that already occurred in the game. And when you leave the mouse on it, you have a tooltip which gives more explanation when it is required. The turn number and the maximum number of turns and the arrow to move to the next phase. At the bottom here, the cards you have in your hand, clicking on a card making pop-up. The card plays will go here. Here you have a UI button to get uh, information on uh, different elements of the UI such as unit stacks. Like if you click here, you have the stack of units. Each unit has a tooltip, a detailed tooltip, where you can navigate and click on some information. You can see, for example, modifiers applying to units, the location, where is the unit, where if you click on it, the map will focus on it, and various interesting information. You can um, move and slow reduce this thing or create it, and if you have more than one stack in the region, which open up and during movements and you can scroll between the different stacks in order to ease the uh, capture of uh, the stack content. So let's see now uh, the region inspectors. You see the map showing the wall of Korea. Each uh, part of the map is a region, either land or sea. And you have here a minimap where if you click on the minimap, the map will jump to the uh, main part of the map. In this scenario, the 1952 uh, campaign, or this is the spring offensive campaign, sorry. Then you have only a limited uh, space to play where it's grayed out, you, you don't play or you don't see. Um, now what you have is that something which is called the uh, inspector, and the inspector, using this button here, allows you to see the different regions. So if you look for a specific region, you can scroll down the list here and or if you don't know, you can just type the name and then if you want to look for Seoul, then the game will focus on it and you will see uh, the, uh, for example, uh, the map showing an highlight. If I go to one to Wonsan, then I see where is Wonsan here. That's regions as per the name. If you do a right click on the region, you will see a lot of inf information here, like the modifiers in combat, movement, the movement cost, if they are allowing supply and the cost of movement and different information in tooltips. Uh, if you want to go to um, the other buttons here, you have structure is the same thing, allowing you to view the different uh, structures that are in the game. And if you click, you can visit those structures. You see, for example, I go to Pyongyang, then it's here and I can have more details by doing a right click on the structure where I get more information, especially what's in this structure at the moment, different modifiers in case of attack, assault, fortification labels, and the victory points at the other side or your side can get depending on capture or conquest of the, pro of the, of the region. Still also you have the units where depending on all the units you want to look, if I want to see where is my second addition division, then I can see it's here. And if I click on it, I will see that the division in question, the air unit here, fighters, are based in Seung. Um, of course, the unit inspector is not allowed to uh, inspect enemy stacks because there is for the war, as you can see in the list, only here. I'm playing the communist uh, that the uh, units are um, present. Now, um, what else do we have here? We have a button that allow you to see who control what, so you can see the different uh, in the playing area who is uh, playing the red for communists, the green for the unity nations. 
uh, toggle it off and off and then you have a, sem a similar filter which shows whether you are supplied or not green stripes say yes red stripe no and gray stripes nobody and then here another button uh, important one which is the air stacking you can see it's blue and it shows how many units you can stack uh, in a region some regions like Seoul here the big region with big airports have a higher stacking and the same similar button shows the stacking number which is quite important and we'll see in another tutorial uh, for the uh, land regions and you see how many units are in the region up to how many units can be uh, located in the region the values being expressed here in terms of stacking point which is the value in the little square here so as you can see three units of three points each makes nine out of maximum of 16 you will see that planes are having a better stacking point at low hills or high hills or even uh, probably in the north the uh, mountainous regions but they are not playable in this scenario so here we have and you can of course if you don't like it in the middle of the past you can reduce the minimap or call it back anytime so that's about it and then we'll move to the next step thank you